Mesh day at home was always a big deal. We were all in front of our TV shouting for our different teams. I was a die-hard Pirates fan. I started playing soccer here in Davidton. We used to play, you know, in, in the gravel where there'll be a little bit of stones. So it was hard. This is my first ground that I've played soccer. That was our, like, clubhouse. Every day of my life, I spent my life under that tree and, and in that field there. I knew I was good. The moment I got signed to Chiefs, you know, I said, wow, I've made it. On my debut, I was very excited, but very nervous. And the fans were like crazy because we were playing at Kings Park Stadium. It was packed to capacity. It was full out. I was from outside the box. I hit the rocket, Baba, straight top corner. Hearing the crowd there at Kings Park, oh, in my mind and in my heart, I was saying, Mommy, I did it because I know the person who I was doing it for. My first salary, I went straight to her and I showed my pay slip and I'm like, this is me now, pay slip, Mama. When I was playing for under 23s, the coach came to speak to me. Then he said, I'm yeah, a man. We've got the news last night, your mom passed away last night. I didn't believe I said, no, not my mom. My mom will never leave me. When I get home and then I shouted the name, my mom, everyone was there except her. That's when I realized that, yeah, she's, she's, she's no more. My life changed. What the soccer fans didn't know about me is that I had an alcoholic addiction. After my mother's death, it took over my life. At some point, I couldn't even play games sober. I lost everything, even the game. It was the 2010 World Cup. I was emotionally drained. That's when I really looked at myself and said, Jabu, but you were supposed to be part of it. That was my turning point. In December, actually, it's gonna be my two years anniversary, clean and sober. So at last I can I can live my life without, you know, substance abuse, without alcohol. If I haven't met Twana, I think I'll be dead by now. She's my strength. So when I got a call from Supersport and I could see Twana, you know, she was like, baby. You can do this. I'm like, sweetheart, I'm doing it. I'm doing this. I've never been in a studio before. I think I was more nervous than the first time I was going to play my derby. All of them at Supersport, they encouraged me and they told me one thing. They said, Jabu, you know what? You've played the game at the highest level and you were one of the best players. Just, just, just talk the game. When you're sitting there, you're not only talking football, but you're also talking to the viewers, bringing everything I learned in my home to theirs. <laughs> 